this is our superstar. Uh, this is about two pounds of the main lobster. It's life and uh, it's really fresh. So I love to preserve all the you know skin and shell to make our broth become like really good. And on this side, you see like the spices that I use. This is uh, galangal. It's similar to ginger roots, but uh, it has the sharper, uh, sharper spice and it's bring uh, are brought into a different level. And then this, this is, of course, cafe lamb leaf. So cafe lamb leaf is similar to lemon leaf, is similar to all um, orange leaf, but it has such a, a, a greeny and spice minty textures that um, bring the soup brought into uh, something better. And of course, this is the chili. I have red and green chili. Some people uh, don't have like, you know, the fresh chili. Can I use dry chili? Of course. And uh, on this side, I have the oyster mushroom. Um, again, cooking is cooking. It depends on what you have to adapt yourself. But um, this is the lemon glass that I got it fresh, slightly thin, and uh, cilantro to seasoning. I also have some shrimp. Uh, scallops and um, the calamari, anything that available on your markets, please use. And uh, you can use with like white fish or even like, you know, um, uh, pork or chickens. And on this side, you see like the uh, lamb. Uh, I just cut it fresh. And um, I also have the one that already made. This is the condensed milk. Uh, I can show you the brand later, uh, what brand we use. This is salt and fish sauce. So um, most of the time, like, can I substitute uh, fish sauce to soy sauce? Yes, you can, but I would suggest to do the light soy sauce, the low sodium one, because we don't want to turn our soup into gray color, right? And um, I am going to about to start. I'm gonna start put the high heat of the stove. And this is my specialty. Uh, one of my grandma, uh, big pot is made from uh, the couple and it's really great. I love it. It's contain the heat faster and it's give me such a fun cool whip when I cook. So I'm going to put uh, uh, yeah. the chicken stock on uh, inside and on during the wait time, we're going to do the cut on the lobster. Here, I'm going to start cutting the core out because it's the gigantic one. Yeah, you said two pounds, huh? Yeah, about two pounds. Yeah. If you if you prefer like smaller one, is it's okay. It's it again, you know, cooking is cooking. Um, some it's, people like who live in the um, uh, Denver, they don't have fresh lobster, or uh, they can use freezer one. I'm gonna start twist the lobster tail out, and then I'm gonna put on this side. I'm gonna clean the head. So I have um, a bad tub for water because we don't want. Uh, is this a and dish that you ever have at the restaurant? Yes, we yeah. do have at the restaurant. Uh, we serve the lobster pad thai. We serve the, the tsunami using the lobster. So it's pretty um, you know, fun to work with. And of course, this soup you can make with all sorts of proteins or, or, or none yes. at all. Of but uh, the lobster adds, of course, an elegance to it. Yes, it's, it brings us uh, a really present looking and the taste of the lobster, the soup brought is really, um, you know, lobster-y taste and it's really good. And uh, so I'm going to clean on the side, yes. Yeah, I was going to ask you about, so in addition to farmhouse uh, kitchen, you also have a few other concepts, right, in the area? Yes. Yes, so I do have another two brand, which is uh, I call Daughter Thai, because during that time, um, I was uh, having, my, my wife was pregnant, and we know that we're going to have a daughter, so that's why I named that restaurant as a daughter. So I'm gonna use my um, chop knife to cut in the middle, and then cut the two sides. And then put on the side. Then this is my beautiful part. So as you see, 
the lobster toe, you know, it when it's fresh, it has like you know the creamy, the the vein in the middle. I just use the sharp uh, scissor to go through and then cut at one time, because you want you don't want to crack or break any lobster toe. And just give it uh, help a little bit on this side. We're gonna clean the leg out. And then I'm gonna use the scissor, put on the middle uh, of the vein and then crack it. You can hear it. So. Uh, do, your daughter is, she's quite young, right? There was a question if you cook yes. with her. Yes. Do you cook with her? Yes. No, she's. She, uh, right now she is two years old. And two um, years old, so. she's really loved to see me cooking all the time, I believe. Um, she's start learning of like, you know, cooking. <laughs> and whenever like you know uh she hungry she just asks me like hey that day i want food yes. and uh, it's make me even smile like oh my god you are the lovely daughter love my cooking skill Does so i'm gonna yeah go ahead please uh -huh. no, i'm go gonna ahead. do the massage a little bit because we want the meat to come out uh beautiful uh when the lobster is cooked so i use my uh finger to scroll down, to take the meat out of the shell a little bit to help. Um, because this dish, one is touch the heat, the lobster will cook really fast. Mm. So I would say this dish should take about like uh, 10 to 15 minutes cooking time. And um, this portion I decide for two, or even like, you know, if you guys want to double to four people, the recipe is available online. So I'm going to take the wind out, clean a little bit. Here we go. And now, of course, head. people could also do this recipe if they don't feel comfortable maybe breaking down the lobster. They could yes. buy lobster yes. to do this. It won't be as mm -hmm. fresh, of course. OK, so uh, the next thing I'm going to start putting my spices, uh, galangal to the pot, uh, kapilam leaf, uh, lemon glass. And again, this and is then, chicken broth. Yes, with the chicken broth. Oh my God, I wish you guys are here. So smell I can it? smell the whole thing, the oh. herb aromatic. And um, you know, it gives us a really beautiful one. I'm start putting my lobster legs part to get the broth out. It looks so good. <laughs> and um, you know, cooking is, Thai food is about like giving a fun story to the tables. And, um, you know, I always like telling everyone like, this recipe is from my great grandparents. And uh, last year I just called them and then, you know, they just keep asking me like, don't forget. I say like, forget what? Forget to send me a damn check when you, uh, you know, get money from the restaurant. I say like, yes, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You gotta yeah. remember where it all began. <laughs> yeah. And would they have made lobster? Uh, uh, no, uh, or? I never have experience with lobster when they were young, but um, I have such gung uh, menam, which is the liver prawns, the giant prawns in Thailand is really, you know, well known. So I'm gonna let it uh, go to boil about like three minutes. And uh, when our lobster turn like two yellow, uh, the orange color, we will start seasoning it. Okay. And um, during this time, I'm going to start putting, this is the chili paste called Nam Prik Pao. Um, Nam Prik Pao is the, the paste, the chili paste that using the sweet chili smashed with um, garlic, shallots, and um, a lot of uh, coffee lamb leaf. So until uh, we sweat with the oil and then become a base, it gives us a really sweet, um, you know, touch of the, of the soup broth. And it's really phenomenal as a Thai cooking is beautiful. And also right now I'm gonna start putting the shrimp. If you have like, you know, the, the shrimp with the head is even better because those heads contain such 
uh, 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 shrimp fat inside. But if somebody allergy to shrimp, you don't have to put it. Of course. And oh gosh, this is making put, me so hungry. And is that calamari yes. as well? Yes, this is the U5 calamari. Um, if you want to use squid or even like something to substitute. Uh, last time people asked me, can I use the crawfish? Yes, why not? Yeah, that's what's really exciting here. You can really mm -hmm. make it to your taste, right? Right, true. Yeah. And um, I am about to add the salt on top. Salt will preserve the juice from the seafood inside because you know it's content, uh, it's trapped the moist to the meat and it make out shrimp or seafood become like really tender when you bite it. And um, as you can see right now, the color of the broth is turned uh, orange because of the lobster, mm -hmm. because of the chili paste. I'm gonna start helping put the hot um, broth on top and you know, our lobster gonna be really good. Woo, smells so good. Yeah, 11, yeah, I'm ready I for lunch. Right. Oh, mm -hmm. your staff are very lucky. They're gonna. Someone's gonna have to eat this here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Before, I mean, it's. I know it's eleven a.m., but it's never too early. I'm sure. Um, yeah. Uh, so I was gonna ask about your daughter. Does she have a favorite food? Yes, she does. She uh, loved the noodle dish named Patsy Il, and uh -huh. she loved it with uh, either chickens or shrimp. Um, she always like after school, she just like, yeah, I'm hungry daddy. And I keep asking like, do you want something new today? She's like, no, I want you noodle, noodle, <laughs> noodle. You know, like the way that kids talk. Yep. Um, I, I have a three-year-old and it's always, it's ah. like, yeah. noodles, <laughs> and noodle. you know, girl is always sweet, right? And so she's like, give me a kiss, give me a ah. hug um, before and after school because I'm, uh, my wife is pregnant, another uh, a girl, so I have to responsibility for my older uh, daughter. Yes, so yeah, thank you. So um, yeah, I can see like you know the lobster tent uh, getting cooked right now, and I'm gonna start putting the fresh stuff. For example, I using the oyster mushroom. I'm gonna sprinkle on top. Um, you see here the Thai chili. The reason I don't put Thai chili at the beginning because I want to get like, you know, a sharp spike, not a deep spike. If you put the chili at the beginning, it will infuse to the soup and it will turn this soup become really spike. Let's say like you love spicy food. Yes, you can. But to me, Tom Yum is the sharp and clean soup that uh, brought spike to your tongue and then swollen to your palate and you know uh, you keep going because you feel like you, it's not enough. That is the, the, the technique. Mm. And um, you see, I also have the lamb's juice and the milk. So the reason I also don't put at the beginning of the lamb juice, because uh, imagine this is the seasoning. It will give such a clean, clean lamb juice. Uh, to the broth and you know the lemon glass and uh, you know those herbs will compromise the lamb really better than just put it at the beginning. Wow, the gigantic uh, lobster core is getting cooked. I can tell, and the lobster toy is um, is really big because it's two pow, but you know it will give us a really nice juice out to the broth. Woof. <sighs> Smells yeah. so good. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. So if you guys follow the recipe and you want to do shopping, um, you know, I uh, I suggest you guys to follow the brand that I use. Yes. Um, share with this me. is this is the chili paste, which is um, oh you got you were you were muted for some reason, chef, uh, in the middle of it. Okay. I think so. someone maybe accidentally pushed the mute button. Mm hmm. I'm oh. good now. Yeah, you're good. You're good. I'm okay. sorry. Maybe it was my end. My end. Okay. Sorry. So um, this is the brand that I use for cooking. Uh, the Thai chili paste, which is called Pan Thai. You can find like at Ranch 99 in here. 
uh, California or you can buy from Amazon. Uh, this is the condensed milk that I use. Uh, it's meant to be for sweet stuff, but you know, cooking is, um, you know, you can play around with those. And this is the Thai fish sauce that I use, uh, the squid one. It gives us uh, a clean fish sauce taste. It doesn't have any sting on. And um, uh, by, by the way, the lobster is cooking right now. And I believe it's gonna take another two minutes to cook the lobster uh, tall and far. Um, and we're gonna start seasoning right now. So I'm gonna put the heat up. And I should mention, I know 99 Ranch, they, are, they have locations on the East Coast as well. We have one uh, in Jersey City and elsewhere in New Jersey, uh, I think Edison. Yes. Um, uh, so if anyone is on the East Coast. Um, and yeah, if anyone has any other questions as we're wrapping up here and he's getting ready to season and plate, uh, please drop them into uh, the chat box. Oh yeah, so, um, so yeah, maybe we should just get the name of the Thai products again. Someone asked so that they can order them mm -hmm. uh, online if they, if they want yes. to. So um, we can drop them into the chat as we, uh, as we go. Uh, what was the brand of um? See, it went okay, off. so uh, the Thai chili paste brand uh, name Pan Thai. So Pan Thai is really phenomenal brand. It has such uh, aromatic, sweet, creamy, and it's um, you know well known as a Thai restaurant use uh, for the U.S. market. Uh, it passed the FDA, and this is the creamy, milky one that I use. Don't use the regular milk because it has less protein. When it touch the acidity like lamb juice, it will come, it will become like crumble uh -huh. uh, because you know, uh, yeah, it's cooked. And uh, this is the squid, the fish sauce that I use. Um, sometimes you see tip parrot or sometimes you see like a, a three crab uh, boys. Those are good too, but to me, you know, using the product is something that chef always um, select the, the best one to cook either at home or either at the restaurant. And we use the premium quality one, which is uh, going to give us such a beautiful taste. And, you know, it has the aromatic smell. They have the story behind and that's what we're looking for here. Amazing. Okay, so I think my... Just again, as a reminder, we're going to be posting the recipes with highlight clips and we'll post it on our blog and make sure everyone yes. gets the chance to look over the recipe. Okay. Okay. So I think my lobster is cooking right now and uh, I'm going to finish with uh, chili. I'm going to put about it so I can have mm. it. And of course, the lambs. Woohoo! <laughs> I love when the lamb touching the lobster, it's changing. You can tell from like, you know, the texture, the smell, it make me swollen a couple of times. <laughs> wow, it's so good here. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's not, I mean, it is mouth watering for sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. And of course, my fish sauce. Yes. Again, oh. I don't want to put fish sauce at the beginning because you're going to over seasoning from the broth and lobster will turn into like fishy smell. So at the end is perfect. And, um, you know, my trick, I'm always going to make like a couple holes on the pot here to put my last final uh, ingredients, which is the creamy milk Evaporating to milk. give yeah, to give our uh, soup become really uh, smooth and thick when we drink it. Mm. So during this part, I'm going to turn the heat back to medium low because again, we don't want to get a scramble uh, soup brought because of the lamb juice and milk, the condensed milk together. Here Wait. we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh so my goodness. <laughs> wow. Oof. Last but not least, I'm gonna, you know, give a final touch with the cilantro or the colander. Uh-huh. And I'm gonna take my spoon to take a sip. Yes, let us know. We're mm. dying to know. Oh my god. <laughs> I wish you guys here.
Oh yeah. Oh, lucky, lucky. Oh, well, this has been incredible. Uh, this was. Hold on, chef. Oh. I think I'm missing one oh. ingredient. This is the surprise one. It is the dry Thai Perf chili. Is it because I love guy? spicy. Yes. So I'm going to smash with my hand and I'm going to blow it. Oh, Woohoo! this is my oh, lobster. Good. Enjoy. Right. Oh, well, thank you. I wish I really wish we could, but hopefully some of us will, will try it at home.